So after last season, you know, keeping Mark Wilkins and Mike Lewis was a no-brainer. They did a fantastic job. They brought so much to the program in terms of their experience and pace. So we definitely wanted to keep those guys. And we thought it made sense to put them together because they had such a strong relationship. We had enough things new for this year that that just kind of felt familiar and kind of a good mix. Before going to race weekend, I like to go to Base 51 uh, in Hawthorne, California where I can drive and train on their world-class simulators and it's really good for me to, to get some laps on their sims because you know it, it really lets me learn the track and get a sense of what I'm going to be experiencing uh, on the race weekend. It's so direct that you feel like you're in your real car, you feel all the bumps, all the nuances and then when you turn in the corner, the actual seat gives you, you know, that feeling that you're, you're taking some G's. The pedals that are on this simulator, they're basically a race car pedal box with actual brake fluid in them. So uh, when you hit, you know, hit that brake pedal, it feels just like your normal car. It's a really stiff feeling, just like in the race car. Lewis gets a run, brilliant run through turn nine. Mid Ohio is a tricky track, right? You know, there's a lot of tight turns and a lot of close quarters racing, but there are some pretty solid places to pass, like. If you can make a run, you know, through Thunder Alley here, this is into turn nine. And of course, the, the famous carousel. And look at this in TCR! It's not over yet! It's good to get on a simulator, you know, to learn the track, to see uh, some lines and, you know, know where to make some passes. But also, honestly, it's just pure fun for me. And it kind of is a way to, for me to loosen up as well. Michael, he's really, really good on the simulator. You know, sometimes Michael, Mark, and I, and Harry, we jump on the simulator on iRacing and we go we try to race each other. And it's always who can keep up with Michael. Rainbow's up to the top, Lewis to the outside. Can he make a stick there and have the inside for the carousel? Yes, he can. So it's third pretty much through one, everywhere exactly. So okay. if you go through practice and you're like entering the last corner in fourth gear, it's pretty easy to leave it there, but just click to fifth. Okay. And you'll go like two or three mile an hour faster and it'll sound like it's lugging, but you'll be rolling so much more speed. Mark and Michael, they're great. They have so much experience. You know, because you learn the basic line when you go through, but you really can dial in those little things that you need when you're racing with two extremely talented people. Mark's kind of uh, the team captain, I would say. You know, uh, he has by far the most experience, and he's done this for a really long time. And, you know, I just kind of try to do everything like he does. We have this very open, you know, relationship as far as you know how we communicate, um, how we work together. I could text Michael or I could text Mark, I can ask him questions, I'd be like, oh what do you guys think of this? So I send him a little video clip and they're always so willing to help. They'll come up uh, to us and ask some questions about the track, you know, that day or that session. That's more of how like we're kind of let's say mentoring them. Um, they kind of got a lot of their, their own skill in them and, and we just kind of are there to, to lean to be leaned on. It's not always that you know we're mentoring them, sometimes they're coming back and you know giving us tips. We're out here at uh, Toronto Motorsports Park today, having some fun in the Veloster N. Getting out on track, I mean, is the best thing you can do to stay sharp. The Veloster N and the Veloster N TCR are really quite similar. Two liter turbo, um, you know, front wheel drive, uh, you know, but balance and, and whatnot is so similar between the cars. So we can come out, we can push it, we can be uh, aggressive, have a great time and, and know exactly what the car is communicating, know exactly what it's telling us at all times. And at the end of the day, when we hop in the race car, we elevate the grip level, we put slick tires on and uh, effectively we just raise that limit, but the balance and the feel of the car is very, very similar. Race cars are so unique and you know, you get that grip level, the high G loads, you get a little bit more power, you get the sequential gearbox, you get to push the car, you know, to the absolute limit is just, it's just so much fun and, and to be able to come out here and kind of do that, we get back in the race car, everything feels basically the same, just at that higher grip and uh, we can go and be really consistent and get right on the pace right away. Checkered flag for the Hyundai. One, two, once again in TCR here in Circuit of the Americas. Michael and I worked so well together last year. Um, you know, we really pushed everything along and, and we're on the same page as far as setup goes. So this year it was just a natural fit to be able to kind of piece that together and, and 
you know, have a, that seamless transition goes a long way as far as getting up to speed quickly and, and getting going. It's awesome to have him as a teammate um, because he understands like, hey man, if I need to be out of the car for me to get more laps or to do a little bit more of a balance, you know, read on the car, he'll do that same thing, you know, with me. So uh, we're, we're able to uh, drive hard and be aggressive, but also give up our time in the car for the benefit of, you know, the team and developing it. It's been so much fun and I think everyone's attitude is, is right. Everybody's in it you know, for the right reason. Everyone's trying to learn. We're all trying to develop. It's a new car. Uh, it's a fantastic car. And, you know, I think the synergy that we've developed with the crew, uh, the team overall, and the drivers is really special. And I think, you know, from my experience, my most successful years were years when, when that synergy was super strong. So we've got that this year, and I think, you know, that'll just continue to get stronger and stronger as we go through the season.